don't know nothing about that. Give me a club in Philly. Philly, Diesel's in the building. You can't stop it. Rock it when I rock it. Anytime I go rhyme for rhyme on a clock. Stop it, stop it. Hold on. Let's see if you can do the new dances to this. No, you can't. Flashlight. I crash flights on sites of my enemy. I'm coming through and then I bomb your whole vicinity. Why the act of faking chat? You're not a friend to me. I beat your card, you're not as hard as you pretend to be. Oh, Who wanna spark it with the chocolate, macadamia, hand oh, okay. to the cranium? You know the name, Shaq, aim to maintain yep. money on the brain. Shaq. Stop the rain. Stop that. Hey, you can't stop the rain. <laughs> You can walk the love of the ball. Hey, hey. We gotta let Biggie talk. We gotta let Biggie talk. Let him breathe. 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 I do my duty. As long as they fly as me and high as me, success on my circle. Try to bring it. I heard you. All right, Peter, the smalls. I doubt that. We want the exotic, erotic ladies, not the toxic ladies. That burn a lot. I learned a lot. From chunkies to ruffians, from being tied up by Colombians. Hey, hey, hey. 89, 89. I changed my position from wanting to be large to head to charge. My garage called a silo. Four, five, six, honey, by the list. Yeah. They broke the fixes. Ninety-two. Leo, Biggie, Tarantino. No. Sounds like a sumo friend by Numero Uno. Can't stop. Won't stop. Hey, can't stop. Won't stop. Hey, can't stop. Won't stop. Hey. That's a classic right there. You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game powered by Bar Stew Sports. If you're like Gilly, you have a problem with your eh, eh, getting, you know, getting a wreck and getting it up there when it's time to get out, arriving to the party. You're always late to the party. Sometimes you never show up to the party. You know what you need to do? You need to get with Roman swipes. Get the swipes. And what they do is you wipe them on there, let it dry off, and then you're ready for the world. He might, you, I'm telling you, you're strong, but... uh. Unlike this guy, he was having problems, and uh, Tootie got with me. Hey, Wallow, uh, he's having problems. I don't really want to share his business out there. I said, okay, I got a product for him that's going to make him last, that's going to get him stronger, make him last longer. Roman swipes. Just for all you guys out there that's having problems down there, you know, you never show up to the party. You're never there. You, the dates be there. The date be waiting for you. The date be hot and ready. And you know what? You don't, you don't show up. So what you need to do is... You know, you need to go to GetRoman.com slash million. Use the code million. One thing about them, they small. I'm talking about the easy, the unmarked packaging. I'm talking about each swipe package is small enough to hide in your wallet. You can just have it all over with you. But go to GetRoman.com slash million. I mean, you get your first month of swipe for just $5. When you choose a monthly plan, you get your, I'm talking about just $5. Just five dollars. You choose a monthly plan, you get your first just five dollars. Go to getroman.com slash million. Gilly, Gilly, I took care of Gilly. How did it feel to have a record with the smalls? It was believe it or not, it was a dream come true. Cause look, we all come from the same place, right? right? So for me, on the way to the court, I'm LL. I got the dookie rope chain. I got mm -hmm. the Kango. I got on Obama, right? Yeah. LL Cool J. When I get to the court, I'm Dr. J, mm. right? Mm. So I was always in the music. Right. I used to do. I used to do the Pauls make tapes. You know, ninety eight point seven Kiss WBLS. Yeah. So I'm from Brick City. In case anybody don't know, know. Who Jersey. I am, you know what I'm saying? Jersey stand. So I wanted to be a rapper on certain mm. days. I wanted to be a baller. So like I was doing it at the same time, right? Writing rhymes. My first rhyme was ashes to ashes and dust to dust. If you walk up on shit kill, then you will get bust. <laughs> right? That was my yeah, first yeah. rhyme. Right? Yeah. 80. 80, 81. Yeah. Like, I'm spitting like that. And then, as the game evolved, you just, you know, mimic your favorite rappers. Yeah. So, I did six albums. I never wanted to be a rapper. My whole thing is about 
being a kid from the fr- from the projects, having dreams, yeah, and just following those dreams. Right. Like, what what's, what what kept you focused from falling off? You know, because the pro is a lot of kids from the projects, and it's hard. It's one thing and one thing only. I see my mom struggle so much. I said to myself, I'm gonna get my mama a new house. And if you try to take take that away from me, I'm gonna kill you. I don't care who I'm going against, Ewan, Robinson, I'm trying to get my mama a new career. I see my mama come in, cook for us, clean for us, never complain, and I was the one that was was possibly going to get us out of that. Like They used to tell me, you the one, and I never believed them. You the mm-hmm. one, you the one, but as I kept going, it just kept coming, and then like the money game was crazy. Like When I was in high school, I wanted to make $8 million for 10 years. That was my goal, eight hundred thousand yen. And you know, I had it all set up. Give me a little house, give me a Benz, I'm gonna give me a Jimmy Blazer, but the money game just went so crazy. I was like, you know what? You give is, me five houses, four Jimmy Blazers, <laughs> <laughs> two Bentleys. This is my chance to just, you know, put us in a, you know, different different direction. So like I used to like like do certain stuff all the time. So I get to the Arsenio Hall show. He said, Man, we want you to do something. I'm, I like being different. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not coming in there in no suit right. and talking. I want to I want to rap with my favorite rap group. Right. At the time, it was Foo Schnickens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Chip hollered at me. He sent me the beat. I did a verse. Came down, blazed the verse. They put it on the album. So we get to the show. I'm just having fun. Right. But as I looked at it, it like, yo, big boy look like he know what he's doing. Right. He ain't the best, but he ain't right. the worst. Yeah. But right. he Absolutely. know what he's doing. Absolutely. You're right there in the middle. So the next day, my agent said, "Man, some something weird happened." I said, "What?" He said, "Job just offered you ten million, ten million for three albums." I was like, "I'm gonna do it." He's like, "You want to be a rapper?" I said, "No, it ain't about being a rapper. I'm gonna rap with all my favorite artists." Right. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause right. listen, I'm real. Nobody right. want to hear me seventeen songs by myself. Right. I know this. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But if I get Biggie on there. Mm. I get Jay Z on there. Mm. I get Eric Sermon and Red Man on mm. there. You know what I'm saying? And you want platinum? That, that that's what I'm saying. So my and whole my whole concept was to rhyme with my favorite people. Now the Biggie situation, everybody was rocking Biggie. He said everybody. my name in the song. I'm jamming brothers like Shaquille. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. real. Yeah, yeah. So it is real. Uh-huh. Even, even though I'm Shaq, I'm still a kid. Yeah. Like when people know who I am, it still amazes me. Right. I'm like, damn, Biggie know who I am. All right. Like, you know, we young, Absolutely. you know, we like the same man. I'm like, damn, Big, Biggie know who I right. am? So, one of my mans, Frank, who was working on my own, rest in peace, he said, hey, man, I got Big on the phone. I, I holler him, hey, Big, thank you, what's up, dude? Real cool brother. Mm-hmm. And I said, Big, I'm, I'm working on my album. I'm, oh, yeah, I got you. So, I sent him the uh, plane ticket, him and Lil C's. They came down. But keep in mind, I did my verse a hundred times. So I'm yeah. like, damn, big, big coming in here. <laughs> big up here. I know I ain't going to be up there, but yeah. I can't be down there. I can't be down there. I can't embarrass Big. Right, absolutely. So I, I spit it. No, like, like I would go, because I had a studio in the house. So I right. would go in every day. So then I spit that verse and everybody, you know, hey, that's cool. He going to like that. He going to like that. So him and C's flying. I'm nervous as shit. Yeah. He come in. I'll play it for him. And he just, he looking. And he start rocking. I'm like, damn, big. Big rocket. Yeah, he likes it. So then <laughs> I had some paper and a pen. I said, here you go. I'm going to go in the house. The engineer here, just let me know when you're done. He's like, no, I'm I'm ready right now. Damn. You no, know, what you mean you ready right now? He never heard the beat. Never. I'm the only one with the beat. Like, he didn't even know the concept of the song. Right. He said, no, I'm ready right now. Like, he just hit, you know, here one time. And then he went in. When I tell you, bro, it was the most amazing thing I've seen in my life. God damn. But I had to hit the button. I said, big, uh, I, that's the dopest verse I ever had. He was like, oh, that's right, my fault, kids. Because the shit he spit with, yeah, yeah. I'm the only one with that. Yeah, Got it, I'll never play it, yeah. I got it. Uh-huh. He said, oh, that's right, and then he went back and spit. But bro, it was, when I tell you it was two minutes, it was two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes, no, no, no writing in the studio. He was like that, Jigga Man was like that, Nas was like that, and KRS was like that. KRS came in that thing one time, spit like a forty-five minute freestyle. That's crazy. That ain't that something we all got in but, common? Me, yeah, Jig, but, Big, me. But <laughs> KRS was spitting the freestyle. I was like, "Yo, let's use that." He's like, "No, no, I'm, we're not gonna use that." I was just practicing. I was like, "You just practicing, <laughs> man." Red man's like that. Yes. So I'm, 
I'm blessed to just have be able to to, to rhyme with my favorite artists because I'm going to keep it all the way 100 and I hope I'm not disrespecting nobody. It wasn't enough money in that for me. Yeah. So my thing was, it wasn't, it wasn't about being a rapper. It was about just being able to get in there with to my favorite money, artists. To direct money, temporary money. And, huh? I got a, <laughs> and I was thinking about the hell of a, the thing about the other day, I got a hell of a discography. All right, well, after, after the job. After Would the you job, like to know the names? No, I, we won't get to that, but after okay. the job gave you the 10 million for three hours, what was the re-up? The re-up was I tried to I tried to uh, go on my own because that's when Birdman well, okay, and all them yeah. people start coming up, and yeah. I was like, I was like, okay. You checked like, him about right. Birdman? Could you tell him don't say no? No, I did not check him about man, Birdman. No, I'm just let, first, first of all, street that, street rule number one: you mind your own, man. You mind your own business. Know, business I don't know nothing, see, that's why we that. keep getting into it because yeah, you mind know. other people's yeah, business. See, I'm just trying to get some. I don't be one to put hands on your cuz, but you mind another people's business. I'm starting to label with him. I don't know nothing about none of that. Thank you. I like it. Hey, man, I don't know. Just say. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Cora Seltzer. Cora Seltzer is your average seltzer, rooted in Cora's long history of sustainability. Our brand was inspired by a generation to, that wants to do good in the world with a mission to restore America's rivers. Cora Seltzer is launching the world's easiest volunteer program. Whatever you're doing, by simply cracking open a can of Cora Seltzer, you're volunteering. Our waterways are at risk. 80% of America's rivers are drying up. Through partnership with Change the Course, Cora Seltzer is helping to protect and restore America's river. Each 12-pack of Cora's restores 500 gallons of fresh water to U.S. rivers and communities that depend on them. The results, 1 billion gallons of water restored to 16 rivers bassing across the U.S., and that's just in one year. And Cora Seltzer also has four amazing flavors, black cherry, mango, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. The specs are in Cora Seltzer is 4.5 ABV and only 90 calories. So let's make sure we go out here and uh, get some Cora Seltzer so we could, you know, help restore these rivers and these, you know, these communities that depend on us. For every 12-pack sold through 8-31-2021, Cora's will purchase Services from Change the Course and Restore 500 Gallons of Fresh Water. Details at CoorsSeltzer.com. Who the top five athlete rappers of all time? Top, not counting you. I don't like to get into that because when you, some, a lot of these cats are sensitive. But that's, that's why you know, me and how I many, the game, we don't care. How many are there? We don't care about sensitivity. Dame, Dame Nice. Dame, the, the, Dame, Dame is, nice. is Nice. Who else did some? Uh, I can give you my top five. Yeah, go ahead. My top five would be no specific order: Shaq, Dame, Lou Williams. Oh, Lou Williams did some. Yes, Lou Williams go. So we missing some people. Um, yeah, I never heard. Is, is, is it only? Is it Iman only? Shumpert. Oh, but is it only something? rap? Is it only rap? Because you gotta get throw Dion in there. Dion, oh, Dion, Sanders. Dion Sanders. Must be the money. <laughs> Man, you know that was a classic. No, it was. He, he, he no, was talking was, that talk. Yeah, he was talking real yeah, stuff. It was, yeah. It wasn't it, that many. It was a lot. Bro, you know how many athletes rap? I don't know, man. I was in the... Iverson. Kobe. Uh, Iverson, Kobe. It's a gang of them. Most nah, of them rap. They just like don't put the, albums out. I don't like to say he was that. Because my thing, I wasn't trying to be... Look, I know I'm not the best rapper. I know I ain't the worst rapper. I'm okay with being in the middle. And then when you a team player, it's okay I got somebody better than me. Mm. I got like well, who's I, the worst like, athlete? For example, like for example, I know I don't get three in a row without Kobe. I know that. But guess what? I'm gonna do my part. Uh, right? I mean Yeah, I'm gonna do my part. You yeah, know, you so, did. so you elbowed uh the Kim B. Matumbo hey, all man, in his face, so, got forty five and twenty five. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> You definitely did your part. We went through the pain when you did your part. No, but you know what's funny about that series? <laughs> so he was defensive player of the year, and they didn't double me. I take that as a sign of disrespect when you don't double me. It was a sign of disrespect. I, it was. And Absolutely. Like, because that so, was like but, a 50 pound difference, wasn't it? I don't care. I would, listen, I'm 50, 100, don't matter. Like, if you don't double me, that's just telling me you don't respect my game. So, right. like, <laughs> so like, I would get it, and like, I'm looking, I'm like, y'all ain't gonna double? All right. You sure you ain't gonna double? Y'all sure y'all not gonna double? I'm gonna ask you one more time. You ain't gonna double, and then boom, boom, and then you know just turn around, and then you know all y'all cats in Philly with all the ah Charlie well, Mack we and all crazy. that. Right? Yeah, uh-huh. I'm we saying, okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay, How, what was the talk in that locker room after Chuck Bubba Chuck walked over Tyron Lue? The talk was we let one slip away. They ain't gonna win another. 
Because we was trying to, cause we was trying to be the only team to go and swept the whole playoffs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we don't like doubling people either. Because because now when you double him, all them other cats get up on. Like we was like, and we like, okay, AI, you got fifty five, get fifty five again. He couldn't, huh? No, he could, but we we just had to, you know, we we just had a different different mentality. And and y'all I, had a better team. And I wish he would have got <laughs> one. Y'all had a better team. I wish he would have got one. I wish he would have got one, too. Because you know why? He's one of the greatest players ever, and it's unfair for the haters to say, well, you ain't got no ring. You know what I mean? It like is. It, it's, it's, well, you tell Chuck that all the time. Well, Chuck ain't, Chuck is not AI. So Chuck stop ain't it. AI. No. Oh, stop Chuck, it. Chuck ain't AI. Oh, oh yeah, Chuck Barkley wasn't AI, huh? No, hell no. Uh, <laughs> Never. Hey, hey, Shaq, do you wish you and Kobe whoa, whoa, whoa. had? Where my girl at, though? Mona? Y'all set me up. No, no, no. No, 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 no. This shit just hit me right now. What's that? I thought Mona was going to be here. Um, man, I'm out, man. You out? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, no, we'll get, we get on the flight right now. She has some things to do, but we can get no, on. No, no, you told me to come do the podcast, and I said, Mona going to be there? You're like, yeah, she going to be here. Mona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you set me up. Right, she right, gonna okay. call you too. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna call. Right. You got she, she gonna call you. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> so shit. So Shaq, let me say this right. To all the up and coming youngins, not even just playing sports, to the up and coming youngins that's trying to be something in life, because you really came out the gutter and you got real businesses. Real businesses. Like real businesses. Like we went to one of your restaurants and had dinner and it's like the whole, almost the strip was like the corner block was yours. And like, what advice could you get a youth? Whether it's a female that's trying to start a clothing line, a young boy that's trying to go to the league or the NFL or, you know, whatever you could give them as far as business wise that they could use in their journey coming up in life. One, you have to educate yourself. Now, when I say education, it ain't, it ain't always always about go to school. Right. We come from the same place. Yeah. I mean, people we see do something on the corner, we educate ourselves and we do it a little better. We right. do it a little bigger. Right. Right? Educate mm-hmm. yourself. Right? Learn. Ask questions. Second thing is watch. There's so much information going on right now, you can watch. Like me, I watch people's mistakes. My father, who was a military drill sergeant, I'm glad he did what he did. Every time an athlete did something crazy, I got in trouble. Worst ass whooping I ever received in my life was when uh, Lynn Bias overdosed. My father came in with tears in his eye like like that was his son. He's like, if you ever do coke, I will kill you. So my dumb ass thinking, bro, I don't mess with coke, I mess with Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, yeah, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't know what he was talking He's about. He's not mess with Pepsi. But I'm... like, when he was grabbing me and you know, after he he touched me up, we went and we watched it. He was like, look at this. Gone. Yeah. Brother could have been the number one pick. He could have mm-hmm. used it. So he was like, if you ever do something like that, I'm going to kill you. So it's not that I'm smarter than everybody. I just watch. Right. I ask questions. And you listen. And I listen. Because so, that's, that's, that's the key. So I I got my first business before I got my, my master's in uh, 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 business administration. Right. I did that. I went to the bookstore and bought a book, The Dummy's Guide of Starting Your Own Business. Mm. And anytime I didn't understand, I'd ask somebody, my yep. man, what's the subchapter S corporation? Man, you get that, man, all this studio stuff and the phone mm-hmm. stuff, you can write that off, you get money back. So I'm I'm learning the game. Right. So we, we just we just need to keep continuing giving them the answers to the tests. Hopefully they listen. But it really is easy. Because, look, I ain't the smartest cat in the world. I just sit back and watch. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, Jordan got his own brand. How am I get my brand? Right. Okay, Jordan did a JV with Nike, joint ventureship. Mm-hmm. All right, Nike, I probably can't do nothing with Nike. There's Adidas, there's a Reebok. Reebok. Boom, boom. Oh, hello, Mr. Reebok. My name is Mr. Shaq. I'd like to have a shoe. Sure. Uh, by the way, uh, Jordan has Jumpman. I already got Dunkman. I already got it. You know, already got it, uh, mm-hmm. you know, labeling and all that stuff. Let's do something. We do it. Bam. But now I'm like, because like I... I like to put everything I do in street sense. Right. So now Jordan moving way more bricks than I'm moving. Mm-hmm. Right. So now I got to switch up. Now I got to switch up. Like 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 Jordan owned this this hood. So I said, you know what? There's a lot of kids that can't afford these shoes. Mm. 
I ain't gonna do nothing with Reebok no more. I'm gonna do something on my own. Right. I'm gonna go to places like Walmart and Target, give them a shoe 30, 40, and now that's my lane. Right. I'm the Pablo Escobar of that. <laughs> yeah, Jordan got this. Right. I got cool, this. But I right. got that. So, right. you know, people try to give me a lot of flack, but it's something that needed to be done. And then I figured out it, it ain't the fact that kids don't want to want to wear twenty dollars shoes. They don't want to shoes. They don't want to wear shoes that look like they cost twenty dollars. Right. So I got some. So I got some. You know, pretty cool. You know, some pretty hot designers. Never since I made that decision, I've sold over two hundred fifty million pair. Damn. Damn. And like I make a lot of people happy because. I couldn't afford Jordans. Right. I tried to cut grass and wash cars. I never and do had that. Jordans growing and up. And by the time I raised up the money, they only came with size thirteen, so I couldn't. I couldn't wear. Them. But to answer your question, all all they got to do is just educate themselves. And right. again, ed- education ain't always about going to school. Because mm-hmm. because me and you, we know a lot of cats that ain't never went to school Julie. and they're balling. Absolutely. Balling. And so. it, and it's also about understanding your weaknesses. That's it. And knowing where, put knowing your, where put you're your, not, put your, you know, know your strengths and align with your weaknesses. Put them around you. Like, how important is the accountants? But, listen, you still have to educate yourself. Because yeah. uh-huh. if you're not educated, the accountant can tell they can, you anything. They can, they can beat you. Tell you anything. I'm educated enough to go look at the books. Okay. And my father instilled that in me because 70% of athletes when they're done playing have nothing. Damn. And I didn't want to be that. So I'm like, hey, man, what's happening? No, and, no, 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 no. What is this? Mm. It's like, and like, I really had to learn business when I went platinum. Mm-hmm. My check was weak. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like all these dudes go. And you platinum. sold hard copies, then. Yeah. Yeah. This was hard copies. Yes, Absolutely, but, this wasn't no but, strings yeah, added yeah. in and but, the bootleg stuff. But then I'm like, this check, this ain't, this went, this ain't what I thought it was gonna be. Right. So now when I open them books, they charge me for studio time. Mm-hmm. Like, whoa, 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 studio in my house. Right. Give me that back. Right. They're charging me for, for catering. No, right. no, no. My chef cooked the meal for Biggie right. and Jay-Z and I. So right. if I wasn't educated enough to look at that, I Absolutely. wouldn't be able to have my people call it. Man, they got me out of so much. But like after I opened up the books and looked at it. You got it back. Damn. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. I, this is my studio. Right. I'm paying the engineering. Right. Oh, we missed it. No, no, no. My boy makes it in my heart. I already paid him separately. So, right. like, so you just have to, you know, educate yourself. And you got to be up on your game all mm-hmm. the way around the board. And you have to turn that sensitivity button off. Mm. So like what do you mean by that? When somebody says something about me, before I go to 10, I listen. Mm-hmm. All right, he right. Shaq shouldn't have did it. I listen first, like, mm-hmm. before I go to 10. If there's any validity into it, I say, okay, and I won't respond. But if mm-hmm. you just cloud chasing or trying to do what you do. Bumping at the gums. Then I got to respond. Absolutely. How you get that mindset, time. Shaq? What made you start thinking, like, let me. Because I'm not right all the time. Mm. And I'm not the smartest guy in the room. And I can admit and say I'm not the smartest guy in the room. And I want to learn from the smartest guy in the room. And you have to sometimes sit back and, you know, just humble yourself sometimes and just, you know, just uh, say that. I learned that by going to one of those tech meetings. And you see all the yeah. all the all the big boys. Yeah, they really know yeah. what they doing. And they don't be saying nothing. Right. Just be sitting back. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you not talking? Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you just hear, I'll put in fifty million. I'll put in two hundred million. Right. I'm like, okay, that's how they do it. <laughs> so instead of coming there loud, I just sit back and, and just watch. I'm like, oh, okay, that uh oh, okay. and then you just and then you just write it down. I learned that from from magic. Magic. Oh. When I when I first got to LA, Magic was like, "Oh man, it's cool being a man, but at some point you want to start owning stuff." I didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. But then after after I got that book, I start. My favorite word in the book is joint ventureship. Joint ventureship. Like for example, if I'm gonna do a podcast, I'm gonna get this crew right here. Absolutely. I do have a podcast called Big uh, Big Podcast with Shaq on uh, Podcast One. Just wanted to shout that out. But and believe that. Yeah, but instead of trying to do it myself, just do a JV. So, so like when I had that record label, I left Jive, but I said, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to still do business with y'all. Good to that. Give me distribution. That's it. Absolutely. That's all I did. So. And, you, and, and, and understand to the youth out there that he was able to do that because even through him getting his $10 million, him having to open the books up, him doing all of those things, catching them with their hand in a cookie jar, yeah. he still kept it good business. 
Okay, I got caught y'all. Okay, cool. I got y'all. Y'all tried to get one over on me, but it's cool. Now I just need y'all for distribution. That's mm-hmm. it. He ain't go off. He ain't ran on them all crazy. Put their business out there. And at the time, they just kept it moving. Handle business. Took the sensitivity out of the business. I understand mm-hmm. what he's saying. He took the sensitive out of it, all the emotion out of it. And then came back and got distribution. And killed him. Because I wish I could talk to some of these kids that have beef. I could put them out. I, I, would, I would just sit down and be like, listen, the world think we got beef. Now let's go make an album. Let's, let's, let's WWE this shit. That's AEW wrestling this. And it would really blow up. Blow up. But you know why it's never going to happen? It's not even going to be because of the rappers. It's going to be because of the entourage. But but guess what? We control the entourage. We used to control the entourage. If me and you had beef, I would come and say, okay. You probably say, okay, two the off limits and my kids off limit. Cool. And I'd say my kids off limit. Sean Lee off limit, Arnett off limit. You can talk about everything else, and we go back and forth. Like, yeah. okay, like, uh-huh. just, and then we just put it out just uh-huh. to you know see the reaction. And the reaction would be crazy. And then we do a show, trauma. right? You know, we do a show, right? You, your boys, me and my boys, we come to meet them. We push each other, and that motherfucker beat a drop, and we just fucking go. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because it's you got to get to the money. That, that's the bottom line. The bottom line. Let's get to the money. That's the bottom line. And if anything going to stop the money, we don't need to be having it. I, like, well, it hurts me when young brothers, I don't see them anymore. Like young brother, that, got, that, that, just, that just hurts me. Like right. I wish I could say something, but, you know, street rule number one, you mind your business. Right. But, like, when I'm, I'm, I'm on these sites and I'd be seeing brothers getting popped, that hurts me because mm. you could be the next. Absolutely. You could be the next. Absolutely. And what's and, sad about it is that, is that it's almost like this generation that we got right now with uh, youngins, they almost made dying cool. Yeah, they glorify it. Like they glorify dying. Like, it, like I've never seen so many people, like in my time, joke around about dying like the, in this time. I'm always careful when I say, this generation. Yeah. And and let me tell you why. Our parents used to look at us crazy too. Absolutely. And we used to be crazy. And we still did it our way. Absolutely. Right. I can remember mama bumping Commodores. Right. And then I'm on 98.7 Kids and I hear that, Paul, they people, mm-hmm. gonna get funky. Mm-hmm. Right. And then like, you know, they at the dance doing the ooey, ooey. And then mm-hmm. I come in there and start Ding-ding. popping on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they look at us like it's crazy. So. Right. Don't stop. I try not to push them away. Oh no, no! I just try to. I just try to give them. The, but you are correct. I just try to give them the information. Right. I, and, and for us, we don't push them away. We just put that information out Got there it. to trigger, like, to, to for maybe one, maybe two, maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand, maybe ten thousand. However many of them watch us might be like. And this we is what do I, glorify dying though. Mm-hmm. And this is because what sometimes I tell you got to put it on their mind for them to understand. Like, damn, he, what he just said did make sense. Like, I go to I go to my page and I got eleven RIPs up. Yeah, and I always tell them, get to where you're trying to go. Like, if you get your first million, now go for ten. If you get ten, now go for twenty. Like, just it's good to be to get old. It's good to That's get old. I got, oh I got a lot of stories. It's mm-hmm. good to get and old. I, and I can only tell them stories because I'm old. Because you're old. It's old. It's good to be able to, you know, say, I did it this way. And you know what? How much is that Audemars pick at? 250 give me two of them. Right. Oh, speaking of, I got gifts. I know it's not your job, brother. You do me a favor. Go in the back of the <laughs> Wait, car. Wait, Josh got it. Yeah, go in the back of the car and get those two yellow boxes. So I try not to. I just try to I just try to give them answers to the test. Absolutely. Because Magic and them gave me answers to the test. Absolutely. It wasn't in my face. They wasn't saying, hey, you, you don't need to be rapping. They just, yeah. they just said, hey, at some point, you got to win championships, big dog. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like you. You, you can't stop the round. You got to win. <laughs> you know, you're shooting all these rap videos, but at some point. Right. I was like, you know what? You're right. You're get right. Get to that. So, so that's what I try to do to the youth. Let me ask you a question on a basketball standpoint. 
do you think you maximized your talent? No, not at all. People only got to see 25% of my game. Mm. Damn. I'm Giannis before Giannis. As you know, I'm the first big cat to take that thing. Coast Off the coast, rim, coast to coast. With style. Absolutely. So, style. But like I said, I, I got to I got to get to that money. So when I came in, it was, I already knew I was the fifth best center. I already knew that. It was five better than you? Yeah. Who was that? Ewan was a monster, Akeem, David Robinson. Mm. It was still a couple other cats, right? So the way they was playing, I was like, well, I don't want to play like that. Let me let me see if they like this punishment. He ain't no like joke. Quick. Shout out to Josh. Josh yeah. when he got them. This is my Those gift. were Shaq words because when Shaq came to the league. Brothers. Thank you, brother. I wish I knew y'all was here. I would have got y'all something too. Mm. So I said. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, have mercy. Oh, yeah, just, you know, a little something. A little okay, something, something that you appreciate you, big day. homie. You, see you know what I mean? Yep. And Victor. And Victor. Appreciate yep. you. This your company? One of my companies. One, One of my companies. companies. You got well, well, actually, well, How many I, companies you got, Shaq? No, no, well, actually, I have a joint venture with Invicta. They make the watches, and that's just my Shaq line. Absolutely. So so what I like about them is they always make the big joints. Yeah, this is huge, and it's heavy as... Shaq, you know what? I ain't got one. I don't own one watch. You know? Since I've been home. This is my first watch, man. I got a question for you. Go ahead. Because me and my cousin got the same relationship. Shout out to Ken Dog, big fan of y'all. Big Ken Dog. We got the same rela- rel- relationship. I'm going to ask y'all one question. What's that? Y'all be taking it to 10, but have you ever took it to 11 where you start blowing throwing blow? Oh, me, yeah. I tended his eyes before. <laughs> I no, tended his eyes. Boy, lie. I, I, I told tinted your eyes right up. Listen, you did, and I tended your eyes. I had a onesie eyes. on. He was mad because I had a onesie on, and I put him in a, uh, a <laughs> leg lock. I'm going to keep it up. <laughs> with a onesie on. He, he was did. mad. He said, I ain't had no drawers on. <laughs> so if I did, I, took, I had you feeling real violated. So it don't even matter. Yeah, but I tended you. Don't, don't lie. Matter. I tended your eyes up. I tended him something nice, too. Uh, and, oh, and one thing I can say is, he took it like a champ. No, but you know what I like about y'all? And I think a lot of people should pay attention. Y'all go to 10, but the respect will always be there. Absolutely. I'm so, never going to disrespect cuz. Never. No, 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 nothing. Wait, hold on, wait. You choking me in a onesie with no drawers? That's, that's, that's not disrespect. <laughs> that's fucking disrespect. I'm just liking you at the moment. It's no, cool. It's a little fatuation. I'm just like, like <laughs> that wasn't disrespectful. What you call it, though? That's disrespectful. That bro. was just showing him some attention because he, sometimes he wants manly attention. <laughs> cuz, come grab me. All right. Because he says it's not his mouth. Shit, and I jump on him and take, you know, just. Just play with his innocence a little bit. That's all. Stop remember that movie? Uh, remember that movie? How did he grab you? Because he grabbed you like this or he grabbed you like this? <laughs> I grabbed like this. I grabbed him like this. Stop playing. I'm just saying, you like to get felled up sometimes. It's cool. <laughs> and that's how, that's how the old head, when he went to jail, right? He was 17. The old head body checked him. He didn't know what it meant. But the old head kept telling yeah, him. Yeah, you know, like, and I figured out, yeah, uh, y'all ain't okay. The, I'm like, damn. So then another old head had to tell him, yo, stop letting the old head do that to you, man. He body hey, checked your shirt at, man. I just man, thought he was friendly. Shirt. I thought he was friendly. <laughs> he thought he was friendly. He kept body like, checking. Damn, it ain't, this ain't a bad place. Dude, this is nice in here. So I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, he thinking like, you this know, shit. I heard bad stories about him. Uh, then this. one time he had a. He didn't know that when you send your drawers and your stuff oh, yeah, to the laundry, right? right? If they send it back to you and your stuff folded, they try and go on a date. Oh, I <laughs> he, was trying, he was trying to go on a date. <laughs> His stuff Check was folded for a month straight. He like, yeah, they fold my stuff. The rest of the jail, like, wait, he folds your stuff. <laughs> Oh, he had to take him down. He's 17. He don't know. Oh, he had to take him down. His stuff folded his stuff. He like, wait, I like my... He didn't, he didn't argue with yeah, yeah, I like my stuff folded. I do, but I ain't know what time it was. It was a date, Bro, a, be, a date I, attached I, to that I shit. I be at the crib watching your I know there was no bro. date attached to that. <laughs> you ain't know it was a date be. attached to no, that. No, I'm like, oh, I thought this was just this is a nice place. You know what I mean? Oh. I'm going to ask you some names. Mona. <sighs> is her name Ramona? Nah, I think her name Demona. Demona. Ooh, Demona. Even better. Uh huh. Yeah. Even better, huh? Demona. Demona. Uh, uh, Demona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, players. I need to know. Is this the thing you did with Rashid? No. I need to know. I heard you, Rashid, you're talking about little Lou Alcindor. That's right, little Lou Alcindor. Stop it, Rashid. Come uh, on now. Damn. Come I, on now. Me personally. I think that Michael Jordan is the greatest player to ever play the game. Yep. And I think that Shaquille O'Neal is the most dominant player 
to ever play the game. And you know what's crazy? That's the title that I was going for. Most down. Yeah, let me tell you why. That ain't something you hear all the time. No. When it comes to the best, I'm I'm hearing four or five names. Absolutely. We don't have to dispute. Oh the no, name. no, no, no. Most but, dominant. But, but when it comes to my most dominant, I only hear two names. I can't say you a Wilt, but I mean That's I can't it. say Wilt because I never seen Wilt play. But but those are only two names right. I hear. And guess what? I'm fine with that. Absolutely. Because Will, with Will that. scored 101 game. He I don't did. care if he was playing yeah. against eighth graders. That's impressive. <laughs> and uh, for me, it's like you see a lot of players come in. You know, you he might be great. He going. He he probably would be great. He, I've never seen a player other than you and maybe LeBron that I said they're going to win a championship. Like, I knew <clears throat> watching you in college, he's winning an NBA championship. I had to. It ain't. It, it's Nothing's going to stop him no, from I winning at least one championship because he's that dominant. You know why I had to? Little kids in Philly looking at Uncle Shaq. Kids in the brick looking at Uncle Shaq. Kids in L.A., Baton Rouge, Atlanta. Everybody looking at Uncle Shaq. I can't let them down. My mama looking at me. I ain't going to let them down. So it ain't about for me. It's about for them. Because guess who did that for me? Dr. J. Right. Dr. J did that for me. So is that what keeps you motivated now? <sighs> yes. I definitely, I, like, like now, my mother, after I retired, she put her hands on my face. She said, baby, I love you. Now I want you to start. Lifting people's spirits. Mm. So, what I've been doing lately is I go in stores and I look for moms. They mm. remind me of me and my son. So, the other day, <laughs> I'm in Best Buy. I ain't buying nothing. I'm just walking around. And I see this, this, this mom and her son. She in the layaway section. So, I'm here hustling. And she's trying to get some laptops so her babies can go to school. Mm -hmm. She owe like 1100 Nice, beautiful sister girl. And I heard her say, okay, I'm going to bring 300 this week, this week. And she grabbed one of her babies and said, uh, I'm going to get the laptops in two weeks, baby. And she walked out and I said, I got you. She's like, you don't have to do that. I was like, yes, I do, because my mama told me to do it. Absolutely. And just trying to, you know, lift people's spirits, make people happy, and just trying to make make the world a better place. You Absolutely. do that a lot too. I've seen I've seen a couple of videos that that have went extremely viral. You going like doing that? What is that? Just from your mom, or is that a part of you? Just what? no. I just look. I don't because my my model lately has been it could be worse. It could be worse, and that could be you. Absolutely. So look, fifteen hundred ain't nothing to me, but right. mom trying to help her babies go to school. I'm. I'm standing right there. Do it. And you do it. And you understand that fifteen hundred is nothing to you, but it's everything to somebody else. Yes, it is. Like I got hit this lady yesterday. She said her son needs some studio equipment. If not, he gonna go crazy. I told her. I, I told her send me what you need. And make sure it ain't no scam. Right. She sent me what she needs, so I'm gonna hook him up and be a, be a hell of a story if I could keep him from getting popped. Absolutely. Cause she like, look, I'm Absolutely. here by myself, and he he hired him. But the only thing he like to do is music, and I can't afford it. So I do stuff like that all the time, and it's just uh, you know the right thing to do. And, and it's crazy because me and Wallow do stuff like that all the time. We, you know, I'm Muslim. I give out. We give out twenty something thousand dollars worth of toys on Christmas. And we were supposed to give out one fifty like uh, yesterday, Christmas. but we down here. Right, Pulls you know, one hundred fifty. So they, I told them to give them some No, one hundred fifty turkeys. Turkeys. Oh, okay. Yeah, for, for uh, Thanksgiving Just as well. Random people. You know, we don't. I don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. Right. But I, I, because I have access, and because I can get to things that other people can't get to, I go out. We go out there in the cold ourselves and hand it out with the. I'll be watching you. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying. Who you are. So it's all about, I, like, with our brand. Is we feel as though when you get to a certain, you know. Stage in life, it's it's your duty, it's your obligation to reach down and pull somebody out the water. Ain't no better feeling than seeing that face when you yeah, when you just, bless somebody though. It's amazing, you know, especially kids. Because I'm I'm still amazed, bro. I ain't playing eleven years. I'm amazed when I walk out. People still know who I am. Yeah, that kind of you know. But it's most me. dominant ever. It's fucking know, seven foot tall. <laughs> yeah, he's seven yeah, feet. Yeah, I just try to you know make people happy, bro. 
Absolutely. And, and, and one thing you do is you make a lot of people happy. Well, thank you. I, but one thing I admire you for the most is your hustle, man. Because I don't know how many brands you working with, but it got to be 111. 134. Because every time I turn the TV on, you, you're, you're the general. <laughs> he, he was with, he, listen, man. You know where I learned that from? He was with Tony the Tiger, man. Right. When I seen that, damn. You with Tony? You know where I learned that from? Wait. Being a basketball player. Like, for example, this is your podcast, but that brother do all the work. Don't please don't tell him that shit. No, but no, but no, but, no, but, but for so please don't tell him that. No, shit. but like it's all about the team, really. It's all about Absolutely. Like I tell people all the time, I know I can't get three without Kobe, but guess what? Me and Kobe can't get three without Big Shot Bob. Absolutely, we can't get three without Rick Fox and B. Shaw. So it's about the team. So even well, though I'm the man on the team, I got some people that's working for me that make my job real easy. Absolutely. Like I wake up, my bed is my office. What I got to do today? Okay, I got a, my main man, Gilly and Rollo, then I got the cooking show, then I'm done for the day. Mm. And that's because I got a hell of a team in place. So, <laughs> like, if you got a hell of a team in place, things that could be hard can be broken down into what's easy. Like, it, like if you don't know me and know how I do it, it look like he all over the place. But right. no, I got a team. And right. then I'm educated enough to when something go wrong. How many watches we sell last mm. week? Uh-uh, send me that. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, so, you know, you still have to be educated enough. And I don't micromanage. Like, I could tell you don't micromanage these guys because they over here on goddamn world star hip hop while we're doing the best podcast you've ever done in your life. Right. <laughs> Pay attention, man. <laughs> just One thing I like about Manscaped Weed Whacker, you know, a lot of you see me out there, I went and get my nose waxed, get the hairs pulled out of my nose because, you know, you just, it just be so much going up in there, boogies getting stuck in your nose, the hairs be irritating you as they grow all different types of sides and all, all that crazy stuff. Once I got the Weed Whacker, things changed because I'm not going to admit. Every time I used to get the hair pulled out my nose with the wax, it'd just be like, whoosh, it's like a rip. Like your skin is ripping off. But with the weed whack, I just put it up there. Mm -hmm. But no, it get a little crazy because it'd be, it'd be, it'd really be whacking the weeds in my nose. That's how I'd be because the hair just be, it'd be cutting like it's cutting down trees in your nose. That's one thing about it. You want to have your nose clean. You want to have it. I want to have it right. You don't want to have nose hairs all hanging out of your nose when you're on a hot date or wherever you're going. So you need to do what you need to get with Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com, right? And when you go there, use code millions. And we're going to take care of you. get 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped when you use code million. 20% off and free shipping when you use code million. One thing I like about the weed whacker, and you know, you like, like I'm going to say this. They, they pull 79%. 79% admitted that long hair is a major turnoff. Women, 79%, they say long hair is a major turnoff. Mm -hmm. Think about that. You got hair, you talking to, hey, how you doing? You got a hair coming up and curling over your, curling up over your nose and just sitting here. Right here. Just, you can't see it, but they say they're like, wow, he got a forest in his nose. <laughs> Think about that. Just imagine having a forest in your nose. You need to get with manscaped.com. Use the code million. Get 20% off. Get free shipping right now. Check it out. I'm talking about, I'm talking about this, is, this is what you really need. I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You really need that. Take care of your nose here, and it's just like how many people? That. How many people you got on your team? Like I know, uh, Uncle Mike, Uncle Jerome, Perry, like like ten. Yeah. yeah. So your cooking show? Yes. Oh, 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 before you Wait, get into because, that, because he he used to cook. Me, in jail. me you got two things. We both was, you know star athletes, basketball. I mean, you know that. You already we talked about what? that. You knew, yeah. he heard about me, <laughs> and we both chefs. He hating on that because me and him so, got. Let me ask you a question: If you get any type of Degree, you certificate, on, you on any that. of that in prison. That's why I became a chef. That don't really count, right? Yeah, it do. Thank no. you. Thank wait. you. I'm with you, bro. Wait. Thank you. Wait. Come thank on, you. Yo, stop that, wait. man. Wait. Wait. How he, let me check. That man persevered. Thank check. you. Come he on, made, man. He made oodles and noodle pasta. That shit good. <laughs> he didn't have the proper ingredients to, yes, be, I able did. To, yes, I did. to be able to leave best. prison and come to a top flight restaurant. I can Listen. Do you have the certificate, man? Yeah, man. That's all the man. <laughs> Shout out to my uh, my if my you instructor, got that degree, you can Steve Daly from South me. Philly. Yes, I mean he was just, he was just, he was, listen he was a chef in the Navy. I had a top flight chef instructor that taught me to be great. You know, so you know. So okay, so what's your fate? What's your best dish to cook? I don't cook. Oh, so so you're not even no top flight no, chef. No, no, he's huh. a chef. But but hold on, this is what I've done. I want to know how to cook. But I have ADD. I don't feel like reading. So we created some ingredients that's easy to cook. 
We got a deep fry oven. You pour the fries in there. You hit fries. It does all the work for you. I got another little thing. You put the chicken in. You hit chicken. It cooks the chicken for you. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. That's some yes. rich ass yes. shit. But, but yeah. where's the set? <laughs> on Shop HQ. Shop, Shop HQ. HQ. Yes, yes. Come in. Come in. Come into stores uh, near you. George Foreman Grill about to be out of there. <laughs> he done. He done. <laughs> yeah, the ingredients are already in there. Well, but no, no, keep it on no, the grill. No, but no, George no, didn't evolve. It, you put it in a machine, you hit the button, it do all the work for you. Wow. That's dummy proof. Damn. And now, once I once I help create that, now I can consider myself a chef. So, do you got a so name for it already? Out. Yeah. What's the name? The Shack The Shack Cookware. What you oh, mean? Oh, right. <laughs> I'm just need to know. Like yeah. it could have been something else. Nah, nah. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so now, uh, you just you, he's a competitor. Could you know why? Yeah, he, he always picking somebody yeah. out to compete with Jordan. You know, Jordan could, over here. Because you know oh, why? Because right. you know why? George Foreman been moving that work way too long. <laughs> hey, hey, you, hey, I want the block. block. Nah, he on that block. 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 Shack with the block. Listen, block. listen. I want his connect. I want his people. I he want his hey, line hey, contacts. Hey, hey. he's yeah, been moving that yeah, work yeah, way too yeah, long yeah, without yeah. no disturbances. Yeah, like. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I did see a special yeah. the other day. Somebody that he ran up a bag on that motherfucker. Yeah. Come on, man. Now I want to yeah. say this, Shaq. This dude always picking on me because he say I don't spend no money. I'm I'm tight. I, he, you know, I'll be hit. Shaq since he came home from jail. He's wore jeans twice. Every day of his life, this is what he I wear. wear black Adidas sweatpants to the point where all his Adidas sweatpants still I got the knee car. prints. I, I drive used cars, Shaq. I own my cars. They use. He drives like, a 2010 Prius. I saw it. I got a, a police car, car, car. And I, I got a, and I got a, and a big body and minivan. A big body, uh, uh, it's not a big body, but and it's, it's a regular 2010, minivan. It's a big body minivan. <laughs> it's a big body, <laughs> <laughs> it's a big body <laughs> minivan. Hey, middle, middle yeah, I put the middle roll in the ground. I got to get a big space. He the middle roll in the ground in his minivan. You know what I mean? So, so what is it that you want to ask? No, I'm just saying he's. It, 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 this is a smart move. How I play, I don't spend them. I wear the same thing. I don't. Uh, uh, Check uh, don't wear the same thing. No, bro. I'm just asking you, man. Business stuff, man. You got, you got some paper? Because I, I mean, because I need to teach the youngins this. What type of paper you need? No, that's cool right here. Because huh. I see a lot of youngins mm. flossing their bag on the ground. Mm. Cool, floss it. But dude told me one time. This dude was. He told me. He said, "You're rich." But I'm wealthy, cause I didn't know the difference. And I said, "What's what's the difference?" He said, "Well, wealthy is when I'm die, when my kids die, when they kids die, when they kids die, we still gonna have the same amount." And I thought about that. Then I said, "Okay, how you do it?" And he pulled out a piece of paper. After he said, "It ain't about how much you make; it's about how much you keep." How many times we seen cats would get the bag with a hundred, and then, then they go blow it the Absolutely. same day. Now they got to get another hundred. So he says, you got $100, you save that. That's 50. Mm -hmm. He said, rich people will say, okay, I'm saving 50 and I'm doing that. But he said, the wealthy does this. You save that. This, ball out. House, chain, car, whatever you want. But 75. Save it, yeah. That's what he said. So From here on out. So I'm no longer saving thirty percent of my money. I'm stepping it up to seventy five because so I'm trying he told to be me wealthy. That when I was ninety five, and I did that, and I didn't, I didn't spend my first NBA check until I started having having families, because I was making so much money, and I wasn't that educated. So I was like, I don't want to spend it. I know that, right? And like people always say, you got to invest and got to invest, but still, you got to be educated to know what you're investing in, right? Like I, I always used to try to invest in the get rich quick schemes. But did, if you how many of them did you fail? All of them. I failed all of them. Yo, man, me and Gilly gonna do this podcast. We gonna do the Shaq and Gilly hats. We gonna sell my line. We gonna uh, give me a hundred thousand next week. I bring you a million. Never worked out. Never. But then when I start investing in stuff that's gonna change people's lives, because I heard Jeff Bezos say that he invests in things that's gonna change people's life. That's why he created Amazon. Yeah. So then I was like, a lot of kids from my hood need these shoes. Mm-hmm. They need them. I'm gonna put a million in. I'm gonna get rid of the, the, the ten million Reebok was paying me. I'm gonna take a million off the ten that I got last year, put it to the shoe company. Let's try it, and it works. Right. So when you invest in stuff that people believe in, most of the time it'll, it'll come. But the youth should know that it ain't about how much you make; it's about how much you keep. Right. But guess what? It could be a day. I hope it's not a day. I, I I hope you shine. I hope you get your bag forever. But it could be a day where. The Get bag stop. Absolutely. 
And it, then what like always when I talk to people, I always speak to them from the athletic terms. What makes athletes great is because we can adjust. Absolutely. If Neon Dion running this way and the defense coming that, he can adjust. All right. So if your bag gets messed up, adjust. Just adjust. Go get a new bag. Absolutely. But if you save from the old bag, yeah. your adjustment absolutely your adjustment time gonna be much absolutely much a lot uh, easier. A lot easier. So, so what he basically saying is is when you get the bag, go get a big body minivan used. Put some wheels on that thing, some put wheel. some bump in that mug, and sh- you straight. I ain't got none. I'm still rocking the factory, but it's loud enough. Nah, man. Sometimes I use bump. my speaker, my uh, Bluetooth speaker. That don't nah, be bumping. Man, you you hear bumps. rattling on the door when I put it in the door. So I am getting off. So I get that off. I get true. it off. Y'all, you'd have been in the big body, man. I got the TV that come down the factory, John. Then he won't ride with nobody. Can no. I give a shout out right quick? Yeah. Go ahead. Shout out to Billy Dance from MOP. Yeah, Shout yeah. Out to yeah, Billy, yeah, Billy Dance. Dance. He played that thing. Man, he played that thing. He just was banging him. Like, I like, I like music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm from the East Coast, so the first time I said I'm gonna start listening to other stuff, it really opened up. So I was look, I was East Coast all day, and I'm I moved down to Texas, and I'm riding with this girl, and she played this DJ Quick Cat. Yeah, I'm like it sounds different, but it's bumping. Right, right. Then NWA come out, mm. they hard. Mm-hmm. I like it. So then I go to Louisiana and you should see the young cash money and no limit on like mm-hmm. so I just and then you call Atlanta and J D got that. I just love music. It's like it's like looking at women. <laughs> it's just it's just so much of a different beautiful beautiful variety. And I try to I try not to oh he whack, he this, he that. Because some of the songs that we don't like, you have to hear them in the club. Yeah, they go it's stupid. Different. Like, I ain't going to lie. Old Town Road, when I yeah, first heard it, it yeah. was crazy. But I was in the club one day. They go crazy. I was like, it was banging. Yeah, exactly. Dang, I, was like, I was like, I guess I have to change my perspective. Because, like, cause like you know, look, we all here. We like lyrics and beats mm-hmm. and all that. But uh, these kids like stuff that they could TikTok to. And I try not to, you know, jump on them. You, who's, you, your, who's your top five artists of all time? I don't want to do that. Because I know people. So I'm going to break it down in basketball terms. Which conference you want first? Eastern or Western? East Coast. The Eastern. East Coast. At the five, I got big. At the four, he's a stretch four. I got Jigga Man. Okay. At the three, he's a power three. Draymond Green type three. Buster Rhymes. Uh. At the two, I got... I know he's from the West Coast, but he was born in New York. I got to go with Pac. Absolutely. And at the one, mm. Rockin. I like Rockin, but I gotta go. I got probably gotta go with Nas. Nas, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Now you wanna go to the West south. Coast? Hey, west Let's coast. go to South. All right, West Coast. At the one, I got Ice Cube, mm. big strong AI mm-hmm. type point guard. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the two, he's long and lanky, Kevin Durant. I got I got Snoop. Mm. I got three. I got uh, forty water. Mm. At four, so it gets tough here. Help me out, Doctor Dre. Doctor Dre. What about what four. about Kendrick and Game in them? Yeah, Game probably at the four, and then probably Kendrick at the five. Mm. Small team, South. Mm. Small runners and gunners. Which South? Southwest or South? <laughs> the South, Atlanta side. Atlanta side. Atlanta, Charlotte, all of that. <laughs> I'm not familiar with all those guys. Like, I don't want to, like, you know, disrespect them. Because I'm only, when it comes to South, I only remember JD and, you know, a couple of them cats. Brad, a couple of them cats. But, like, they got some new cats that I'm 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 hearing the music, but I don't mm-hmm. really know. Like, the baby and little baby, them is my dudes. Mm-hmm. They hot. Travis Scott. Trav look, from Houston, right? Look, I've been to a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen no show like the one Travis Scott to. Biggest show I've been to was the Dr. Dre Up in Smoke Tour. In oh, unbelievable. I came around the back. Unbelievable. I'm looking at this, this poster right here. That's how many people it was. Dang. I did something with Travis Scott in, in Austin. Bro, I ain't never seen him in people. And he had that moment with rocking. Yeah. So big ups to him. What's the biggest that. show you DJed at? Probably 100,000. Lollapalooza. God damn. You no, it, it, yeah, yeah, you sent me some videos. Yeah. And I told you when it opened back up, and you do one of them oh, yeah, joints up coming, man. Gotcha. And see, like, even with the DJ thing, I'm losing money doing that, but it ain't about that. So for 10 years, I missed the, I missed that. Like going out, Shaq, that's cool, but that don't give me the same effect as going to the Philly arena, right. all your Philly homies turning right. on you for that night, right. Charlie Mack and all them right. boys think uh-huh. you're going to lose. That, that, that right there, that, 
That's what gets right. me going. He's like, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, so like when I go to, to, to do the DJ thing, it's a hundred thousand. That, that, it's just that bring that, that rush back. That game seven. Hey. I need it. Game seven, I'm, down I'm, by one. Kobe, I'm throw me up. Yes. Give How many Kobe. people do you think, as far as rappers, athletes, actors, just entertainers all the way around the board, is missing that? They all miss yeah, it. That game seven. They all miss it. Because, they all miss it. Because even with the game seven, it only happens some of the time, not all the right. time. Right. So it, this ain't something I can't DJ every right. day. But like when I'm down or whatever, whatever, if I get that, it just, because like, cause like when I used to do shows, I used to have my shows already programmed. I'm like that ain't. So now I got to look at the crowd. Yeah. Like, okay. So, okay. So now you a real DJ. Yes. I'm like, okay, white boys. Hit him with some white boys. Uh-huh. Like, oh, okay. Let's little, yeah, yeah. little homie over there with the braids. He right. ain't smiling at me. Right. Like, like I'm able to like right. do that. And that's the same thing in, in the game. Like, and you know, people you, downgrade the art of filling out the crowd as a DJ. That's an art. And that's what I used to do in the game. So let's just say like I give a nice move on Dikembe and I'm looking at Rallo and he got this crazy look like he could let out. Next play down, I'm going to do something crazy and I'm going to be looking straight at Rallo. What? Because I want Rallo to go. Yeah. And until he do that, I'm right. going to dunk on Dikembe every time. And then look again. <laughs> yeah, and then look again. And you know, like, like if he's just doing that, I'm going to be okay. What? Oh, uh, we going to run and play for Cook. No, no, no. Throw me the ball. <laughs> throw me the ball. Yeah, throw me the ball right now. Bang, bunk, look at him. And until I get Rollo or the one person I'm looking at to acknowledge me, yeah. I ain't going to let up. So, so, okay, so let me ask you this question as far as what's the, what's the craziest situation you ever had in a locker room? I don't have to, I don't have to knock a couple people out. <laughs> Damn, they tried you? Damn. No, it's just that you got to realize it can only be one chief. And this chief, if we don't win, it's going to be my fault. Right. I accept that. Right. But I need you to do certain things. Because everything has to, to be in line. Right? Right. And sometimes that worked, sometimes it didn't. So a couple, couple cats I had, to, I had to touch up, let them know. Was you as bad as Mike? Probably. Mm. So, so, so pretty much. Probably. Who you knock out, Shaq? No, uh, you ain't talking to me. <laughs> I ain't saying that. <laughs> He like a yeah. I don't want to do that. Stanley Roberts when we was back. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but but even with young fella, I knew that once you get him mad, he's gonna be like me. Yeah. Did you ever purposely like all the time? He playing like shit. I gotta get him mad. No, no. Well, one he never played like shit. But well, you have off games sometimes. I, well, listen. I I did eight years. I played with him. One off game ain't nothing to talk about. Uh, but I knew if I riled him up. And guess what? He knew the same thing. Mm. And that worked to our favor. Like, people always say, what would you do different? And I had to say nothing. And y'all brothers, how many times brothers came to blues? All the time. I, I know it had yeah, to happen. All the time. But guess what? The disrespect was never lost. Right. Because I always tell people, okay, y'all think we had beef, right? After I won the first championship, who ran and jumped the moms? Yeah. When when he spread sprained his ankle, couldn't walk from the bus to the locker room. Who carried him? Right. Like I got a little brother, cousin. We do this all the time. Absolutely, that's, respect for that's, that's life. So I'm like, so so people always say, "What would you do different?" I wouldn't do nothing different because we won three out of four. Right. I ain't the smartest guy, but that's seventy five percent. Absolutely. And th- <laughs> that's uh, give me a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Just, you rip, you rip yeah. it. You don't don't yeah, rip it so, again. Yeah. Keep hey, that. Hey, but Shaq, you got you got I got a question though. If y'all stayed together for ten years. More that that couldn't have happened, and let me tell you why. At some point, the the student must get rid of the master to become the master. Mm. So I understand the business. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I'm, I'm able to just be like, okay, like look, it was his turn to shine. By absolutely, himself. he was tired of being Robin. It was his time to shine, and then so you know, the management. Look, management like they like young people. Mm-hmm. I was getting older, but they still owed me a bag. Mm-hmm. It was like, okay, we want to give you the bag, but by the time the bag end up, you're going to be 39, 40. We mm-hmm. don't want to be in a hole that deep. Right. So they wanted to do something different. And then again, you said, did. too, that you didn't work as hard as you were supposed to. Do you think you and Cole have a beef because of that? My thing is who, who I'm working out for. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I mean, who I got to work yeah, out like, for what? Yeah. Like, the way, I, the way I prepare is the way I prepare. Right. Like Cobra is, is a different animal. Yeah, and, that's, and everybody's that, not on that type of. That's what he do. It's right. not what I do. That's not what you do. I have to wake up, make sure the baby's all right, mm-hmm. 
make sure the business is going. Mm -hmm. Then I'll work. Then I'll play. Some guys just work, 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 work. Right. I commend them for that. But right. I don't need to work, 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 work. Who, work for who? Right. Mm. I love like, that. Because I'm, I'm, one, if you, like, and then I've seen a lot of people that work, 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 work with no heart. They can't play. Right. My heart. Like, right. I'm, I can look at a cat and already say what I'm going to do. Because it, when Damn. you play basketball, is you always got this guy on every team. It look good. He don't miss in practice. Yeah, he don't. <laughs> I'm talking about he don't miss in practice. Shout out to Dan Robinson, played in college with me. Never missed. He didn't miss in practice, but when the game started, he didn't make nothing. Everybody does something different. So you guys got one of the best podcasts, right? Right. I done been to other podcasts. They got the professional setup. Right. I'm not saying that y'all stuff not professional, right. but y'all stuff look better than them. So everybody work different. Well, absolutely. To get to where they got to go. Absolutely. I ain't working out nine hours a day. For what? For who? <laughs> Hour. My thing was, you got the average twenty eight big dog, and the players you got to average forty. Please can you win. please can you look in that camera? I don't want you to specifically talk to Joel and B, but I want you to talk to every big man I, in the league, especially I, I, Joel and B. Then tell them <laughs> that you are not a dominant center in the NBA if you don't average twenty eight points, seven points at a least. Quarter. To talk to him. That's, that's seven. That's three jump hooks and one free throw a quarter. Mm, mm, mm. So we so we get on him on TNT a lot, right? And a lot of these youngsters think we'd be jumping on them but if they take their sensitivity button off they know I'm giving them the answers to the test mm. I'm, hmm. sure, I'm sure I like that sensitivity button That's Joel like, I like, like that like yo when I say you should be dominating I'm not picking on you I'm just telling you if if somebody giving you the answers to the test no 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 somebody take them no, no no somebody that you know that's a professor I'm a professor in that. Like I can't tell, I can't talk to Steph Curry and shoot and all that but when it comes to being a diamond big man I know what the hell I'm talking about right. so like he came back and said, well, I don't want to be Shaq. I don't want you to be me. I, don't, I right. want you to be better than me. Right. We you just have, want you to be yeah. dominant. Because you have, yes, because you have more skills. We want you, when you get the ball in the post and you got somebody 6'5 on you, no there's jumpers. nothing to think about. I'm going to tell you, it's BC time. So, Barbecue chicken. Yep. That, that's it. So, but you know, I, I try to. I try to uh, talk to him in the You ever been swept in the playoffs? I mean, you ever been swept in the playoffs? Yeah, all the time. Like, like my first five, six times, I got swept. You got swept? Yeah, and then I read a quote. No, so actually, I shouldn't feel that bad that we no, got swept last no. year? Then, all right. Last time I got swept, my fraternity brother put his hand on my shoulder, the best player in the world. He said, hey, man, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. Because Jordan he was getting his, yeah. his Jordan ass told whipped. Me that. No, no, yeah, Jordan told me that. After uh, Orlando, I mean, after we... After we beat them the year before, went mm -hmm. to the finals, got swept. Then they swept came back next rock, year. Then they came back. Yeah, he told me that. And that was the, the summer that I decided to uh, go to L.A. So it happens, but it, it, it can only make you stronger or make you weaker. All Which, right, all right. who you picking? You, you Ray Gould Ball, you picking me or Gil? Oh, I got to pick Gil. <laughs> Oh, what kind of I'm, what kind I'm, of question I'm, I'm, I'm is that? I'm strong in the paint. <laughs> like what kind of question is How that? How you bro? picking him? I'm strong in the he ain't got no. I'm, I'm, he let the penitentiary in five. He went to I'm, he went to the neighborhood college, man. He didn't go to no. No, I'm, I'm, picking, I'm picking Chauncey Gillups. Let me, and, and, and Give me let why. Me tell you what. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching uh, his page one day, and he out there with some cat. They betting. He shoot the three. He no. He not, I think it was from half court. His foot was on the line. Old boy saw his foot was online. They argue a little bit. Gil grabs the ball again. Said, "No, I wasn't. I was right here." And shot it and made it again. And then he grabbed the ball two more times and shot the same shot and made it from half court. That's Chauncey Gillup. Four Chauncey times Gillips. Put some respect on my name. That's all I'm gonna tell you. I, I Chauncey that. Gillips. You ain't seen when we cooked the young boys hey, out there. Like, guess what you tried? No, I, I saw that too. But guess what you tried to run with? Yeah. What? You? Who? Shaquille Low Neal. Yeah, I, I wouldn't let him do it. I wouldn't let him do it. I wouldn't let him put no muscle on your chest. Low Neal. Low Neal. Because you know he 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 tried to come. See, he tried to come with Shaquille Low Neal. I can't believe that. He can let it do that. I'm using that on the court. He never got a rebound on coast to coast. But I abuse you though, Low. So you can't use that. No, that don't count. Anybody see that? So that don't count. That don't count. That's he played in the NFL. Yeah, that's Meek. Yeah, Meek. That's him. Yeah, that's Meek. Yeah, that's cool. We had to. No, that's cool. What the fuck? My name ain't no fucking Meek, man. I'm just saying, happy no, to no, the best stuff. No, no, because I asked him when we had dinner. I said, "Look, man, I know y'all be joking about, but was that story real? That shit was definitely real. Yeah, he went to prison and all that. Hey, it happened. It hey, happened to. Hey, you know what's funny? When we first met back in the day in the club in New Orleans, that yeah. joint was with me. That was the shorty I was messing with back then. That's uh -huh. crazy as a motherfucker. 
I'm no. sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, he be real big with the real estate. And he come on the show and he get a gang, you know, the game about real estate. And he help people he make. Yeah. I know okay. who he yeah. is. You know, he help people make money. RonaProof.com. He's shining too, man. Shining. Hey, man, I'm up here with Shaq, man. I said, I got to come correct on this shining. motherfucker, man. That look like. Absolutely. I'm shining too. I'm shining too. Uh huh. Do you have a new girlfriend now? No, nah, I've been chilling, man. I've been uh, really focused on 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 rebuilding. You yeah. know, a couple of years ago, I like you said, I was in jail over the, the domestic violence situation. So I really refocused myself and went back into the community. That's why I told you I had a lot of respect just watching what you do as far as giving back, because that's right. really what I put I put a heavy focus on. Uh, just trying to empower and uplift the community with mm-hmm. awareness, and then the real estate game. So, Gil was talking about the Rona proof. I'm, I'm heavy on teaching people just those steps to get paid in real estate. And another thing I never do is I, I never look down on brothers that make mistakes. Like no. this man was just vulnerable, and, and like I wouldn't ask what he was just vulnerable and you know say why he went in. So. Man. It's good that we always got to, you know, uplift and, and, you know, take care of each other. And that's what we do here on this and show. I'm proud of you, brother. Thank we you. understand really people am. make I mistakes. Use it, I use it to really uplift other people because yeah. it's a, a lot of young brothers that they, they get in relationships or whatever, something go left, and they think the first thing they can do is put their hands and connect on somebody. Yeah. And, and I had to learn the hard way that what it, what it did to my life. But, you know, now I use that to empower and, and, and bring awareness to situations yeah. that we, we see daily. Believe that. So man, we want to we we want to send a big shout out to the big homie. You got anything that you want to throw out there and let the people know? Man, I just want to know. I love y'all too. I love you appreciate too. y'all, man. Appreciate, I appreciate y'all. y'all for keeping it a thousand mm-hmm. all the time. Uh, shout out to all the all the youngsters out there that's trying to make it, and we only want the best for y'all. Like, that's all. Like when we telling y'all stuff, it may sound like we coming at y'all, but if you turn off the, the button, we give me y'all information. Turn off that button. Turn off that sensitivity button, man. Because we realize that you guys are the future. And if you want to get to get to be this age where you can do your own podcast and talk about, you know, because it's it's another good thing about generations is is they keep coming. Absolutely. So we're gonna teach y'all. We want y'all to teach them and you know, just just stay up and look, man, we got we gotta start putting these straps down, dog. Mm -hmm. Put them down, dog. Mm -hmm. We gotta start. I mean, Mm -hmm. Worst come to worst, have a conversation with all you know. You know, have one of your big homies in the middle, and y'all just man talk it out. And that's funny. That's what King Vaughn said. Mm. You know, rest in peace to King Vaughn. But on the podcast last week, he said a lot of the problems could be could just be talked out, but people don't know how to talk. And Too you, reactionary. And even if you don't know how to talk, think about the money. Right. Like for example, me and you got problems. I'm gonna call you. Mm. And we're going to talk. Mm. And then I'm going to be like, you know what? It ain't that serious. But how can we get some money? Yes, how can we get some money? Yeah. How can we get some money? Gil, 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 uh, and Gil's team versus Shaq team. Right. Oh, shit. Rollo and Gil had a follow. Rollo's point guard. Like, right. it just. Let's get like, some he's money. Point guard. He's, I was point guard. Yeah, yeah, he you know, do point. something to fill it. Yeah. <laughs> so, just. <laughs> Damn. I love y'all youngsters, man. Love you know, too, y'all man. just, you know, keep your head up. Hey man, appreciate and next time you. y'all call me up here, Mona ain't up here. Uh, we promise you gonna be here. Okay. We gonna never hey, do that Mona. again. Hey Mona, Mona, yeah, what, what, what is it? Demona. 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 Hey Demona. 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 <laughs> is she Spanish? <laughs> no, she's not Spanish. Me llamo el padrino negro. So you said you came out with Harumana, huh? What year was that? I forget, man, because I had when I got no, 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 no. When I got the concussion, because the ball elbowed, I got the concussion. I cut my hey, ACL. Just for the people who don't know what Shaq talk about off camera, he lying to Shaq yeah, because you know back in the day I used to play. I came out with Harold Miner, so Shaq said, "How old are you?" He was like, "I'm 41." Shaq was like, "Harold Miner's my age." Yes, he came out with me. He was a bad boy. He too, tried man. to read double back. No, I they was said playing Harold with Miner the ones was. at the playground. <laughs> Before we go, top five Philly rappers: Gilly, yeah. Beanie. Meek, Freeway. You're not on the list. Shit. You're a neighborhood rapper. You You ain't make it out of the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Will Smith. You disrespecting right now. Who, who? Say something. You don't hear that music? You don't don't hear that song in your head right now? Who, who? You got it. Cool, say, cool, say. You got it. You might be a historian. You might be a historian. Hold on, Before you go. Because he said he's a historian, I'm a historian. I want to say this. You always showing OT the real love. Who? OT the real. Oh, yeah. No, he he hot. Yeah, he be spitting. Listen, man. If you, like, another thing I don't have a problem doing, I don't have a problem saying you hot. You don't have no problem showing love. Because you know why? Cost nothing. But not only that, 
Like, let's just think this table is money. I can't make all this money. Right. Mm-hmm. I can do this. And if I can help you get like this. Man, he hot. Right. I, I love him. He hot. That's Shout out to up. him. May God continue to bless him. Okay. Just just before we get out of here, I don't want to hold Shaq too long, but you say you're a hip-hop historian. He say he a hip-hop historian. Ask him a question that he can't answer about hip-hop. What group was Cool Keith in? Cool Keith? That's the Sonics. No. Ultra Magnetic MCs. It was close. Uh, uh, it was it was close. I told you. Was close. Damn, right. okay. Okay. You let him get right, Hold on. Hold on. Go one or nothing. Back. Who was the first to do this? Dougie Fresh. No, the Skinny Boys. Oh. 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 One to one. Oh. One to one. Oh. Yeah, oh. one to oh. one. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, go ahead. Who, who created Gangsta Rap? Well, it's a lot of controversy behind that. Mm. DJ Quick says he started it first. Schooly oh, D, Philly. Uh, Schooly D. He did. Okay. All right, now, come on. Okay, two to one. Who was the first to talk about... I got to remember his name before I say it. All right, another question. Who is... Who is the original four members of Tribe Called Quest? Mm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ali Shaheed Muhammad. Ho, 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 ho. Go ahead. Fife Dog. Yep. Q-Tip. Yep. Ali Shaheed Muhammad was... Okay, that's three. Score is two to two. His name was Jai Roby. Oh, 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 two to two. Let's go. Two to two. Two to two. Come We're on. going to five. All right, finish, finish the round. You want up front what? You want up front what? Dump up, they get buck. Oh, yeah. 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 Finish the rhyme. Come, get some. You little bum. I get the check, but you can't get a club. I take the cake, but you can't okay. get a club. I'm a legend. Okay. Uh, now we tied. Three. We tied. Uh, it's three, three. Okay, three, three. This, this is it right here. This is the one. Final one. All right, this the, this, listen. This the one. Six in the morning. Police at my door. Ice tea. Oh. Come on, dog. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm just, he you. No, I'm giving him a shot. <laughs> All right, finish, f- finish the hook. No, no, I'm gonna give you the song. I'm, I'm gonna give you the beat, and then you, you sing it for me. Oh uh, no, 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 I get lifted. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, right. okay. Hold on, they right. two historians right now. All right, four this to four. is coming down to this right here. All right, let's go. Four let's to see. Four. Oh, I was great. I'm glad I ain't say that because he'd have got me. All right, it's. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough. Come that's on, that's not now. enough. That's it's, not enough. It's what? It's time to get loud. No, 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 he messed it up. He messed it up. He messed it up. That's Onyx. No, but he messed it up. Come on, man, you can't. I know that. I know that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. This is how we chill from '93 till. Uh, the name of the song is... Uh, Who is it? If you get the name of the song, you got it. What's the name of the group? Uh, Souls of Mischief. Game yeah. over. Damn. Mahon. Damn. Mahon. Damn. Mahon. Souls of Mischief. He got me. 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 I smoke on the mic. I smoke on the mic. They flame like Joe Frazier. The hell raiser. Bring uh, hell with the flavor. The hell with the flavor. The hell with the flavor. You will leave it with the top. Like a neighborhood spider, man. You leave it with the top. A tie. Yeah, I'm glad you. A tie. I want to appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the whole country. The whole country. I go by the name of Gilly the King. Yeah. Swallow 267. Tony Cruz. Big Shaq. The arrow. I posted him up. I posted him. Call me, Mona. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs>